get an opportunity here. 5.5, they go into Wilson. He's going to put up a three. Hits it! He hits it and he's fouled! With 1.8 seconds left, and Voss can't believe it. But Wilson puts up a three. You're left speechless with 1.8 seconds left. The game tied. Here comes the inbound on the Clan TV replay. But the make is what we want to see here. As the free throw is up and good. With oh, thanks, Joey. Excited to be uh, continuing to play. One of the goals you set at the start of the season is to be playing in March. And, uh, we're excited to be in the uh, postseason tournament for the first time and just in our second year in the GNAC. Wilson, they grabbed at him, no whistle, made it with one, extended his shirt a little bit and thought that was enough to earn a foul. No whistle was blown. Wilson was wide open for a three and we are headed to overtime in about the most improbable fashion that you could come up with. It's a little more aggressive defensively. Cavs down one. Shot would have to go up with no less than about 15 seconds left. Wilson will take it now. Vance had the rebound. It falls to Michaels. Blocked once. Noemi. Is it a two or a three? I'll see hands up. It's a two. Nope. They put three on the board. We'll straighten that out. It says 69-67. Alaska Anchorage is going to take a timeout to set a play. And they've changed the board now. To a held ball stays with the Seawolves. Takes up top, fumble it away. Crane misses the dive attempt. Cavs pick him up. Still have not gotten the ball out of his hands. He'll force a three. No good, and we're going to second over. No, we, that's it. Uh, we definitely ended uh, playing the basketball that we knew we could play all year. And we knew that we would have a shot at making the conference playoffs coming into the second half of the conference with mostly home games. And so we just stuck to what we know and stuck together and played hard every night and were able to get the wins. I, you know, obviously we've been fortunate. The GNAC is such a great conference and, uh, you know, we're still learning the ins and outs of it, but, uh, you know, really excited about how our guys have stepped up and made plays at the end. You know, Jarrett this last week just was phenomenal. And we've had great play from, you know, our seniors this year and for Jarrett to be just a sophomore and to show, you know, that he's one of the, you know, elite players in the GNAC just as a sophomore is really exciting for us and for the future. And obviously the, the momentum that we have going in, having won our last four, hopefully that's going to be a good uh, catapult for us as we get into the GNAC and face a really good St. Martin's team on Thursday. Uh, it's definitely a special achievement, uh, and I definitely wouldn't be here without the help of my teammates and my coaches. And so I just, I'm looking forward to the conference playoffs right now and just keep my mindset on that and getting a couple victories. There you go. Oh, they're a very explosive team. They have uh, you know, a great point guard in Cole Preston. Uh, Tyler Cobb's one of the best uh, shooting off guards. Uh, he's a four-year player. Uh, I've known Tyler his whole life, and he's just a tremendous young man. Um, Big Fred York, uh, the biggest player in the GNAC, probably the biggest player in Division II uh, at well over seven feet and over 300 pounds. So they really present some, some matchup challenges, and you know, we're going to have to really do the job defensively against them, especially with them being on their home court. So it'll be a great challenge, but I know we'll, we'll be ready to go, and we're going to work hard this week to get ready.